My name is Ed Vicenzi. I'm a research scientist at the Museum Conservation Institute. I also work part-time at the National Institutes of Standards and Technology in Gaithersburg, Maryland. One of the projects I'm working on right now is to understand the earliest uh, photographic materials, in particular daguerreotype photographs. This is uh, an example of one of the daguerreotype uh, photographs. So daguerreotypes um, are made from a polished silver and that um, uh, gives rise to that high reflectivity. In fact, uh, the term mirrors with a memory were used to describe um, daguerreotype photographs. And uh, depending on the angle that you view the image, because of the high uh, reflectivity, You'll either view it as its normal positive image, or, or sometimes at low angles you'll see the negative version of, of the image. This young lady's uh, bow was um, uh, enhanced with a red pigment, and uh, we believe this to be what's referred to as a red lake. Uh, and so it's an organic, uh, metallo-organic uh, pigment. Um, derived actually from um, beetle exoskeletons. Full width of this scanning electron image that you can see here of the daguerreotype surface that I was just holding represents about one-thirtieth the diameter of a human hair, as, as, as hard as that is to imagine. And so this white bar that you see here represents 500 billionths of a meter. And you can see these tiny uh, particles growing off of the surface of the, of the image. And these nanoparticles are actually what are scattering the light. And you find these um, in greatest abundance um, in white areas of the image. For example, where the young lady had white uh, cuffs on her dress or the collar, for example. If we were to look below the surface of a daguerreotype, here is the surface here, we've used a, an instrument called the focused ion beam to mill into the third dimension. We can see the silver below the surface and an outline in cross-section of those tiny nanoparticles we were just looking at. And this gives us all kinds of information. Uh, we find little cavities below the surface and that's giving us clues to actually how the image was developed um, uh, by the daguerreotype process. What's amazing about it is that as I started to visualize what these specimens look like at the microscopic and the nanoscopic length scales and cutting into them using the focused ion beam microscopy, I, I saw this amazing uh, parallels to contemporary nanotechnology and uh, semiconductor materials and even medical uh, devices and the nanotechnology that's um, used today in our manufacturing. Mm -hmm.